Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix issues with the crew mode fest crashing, not launching, freezing, and any other error messages you might be encountering. So the first thing that you need to do is download a program that I created called Easy Gamer Utility. If you don't want to download this program, then you can skip on to the next method. I will put a link in the description below where you can skip, or in fact, I'll pin a comment. So the first thing that you need to do once you've downloaded EGU by clicking on the link in the description below is go ahead and click onto the clean tab and we're going to click on clean next to Ubisoft Connect. You then need to click on OK and this is just going to clear out those cache files for the game launcher. Once you've done that, stay on the clean tab and then go to the bottom and then click on clean next to your graphics card. And again, this is going to clear those cache files for your GPU. Now, once you've finished doing all of that, the next thing that we want to do is go across to the Fix tab, and you then need to go all the way to the bottom, so you get free attempts with the free version of EGU to do fixes. With the Pro version, it's unlimited attempts, which is fantastic because you can then use EGU to fix other games that crash and any future games and stuff like that. So if you're interested in Pro, then obviously check it out and buy it if you want it. So we now need to click on to browse and we then need to browse for the game's shortcut file. So you can see there, the last game that I fixed using EGU was Starfield. I need to go to my desktop and select the crew mode fest and go open. In fact, that's going to give me an error. Uh, that was quite extreme. It said catastrophic. Um, you can see there. Anyway, so we're going to click on OK and we need to go to the actual location of the game. So I know mine's installed on my C drive. I'm just going to skip the video to the location quickly. Okay, once you've gone to the location where you installed the game, you now need to simply select the crew modefest.exe. You then need to click on open and we now need to change the launcher. We need to select Ubisoft Connect and we're then going to click on attempt fix. Also, I've just added a new option when purchasing EGU. If you want to have your name in the credits of the program, then that is now also an option. So we just now need to allow this 15 seconds or however long it takes to attempt to fix the game. As you can see there, unfortunately, it did fail to launch the game. So what we can do, it has still done the other methods in fixing the game. So what we can now do is go ahead and launch the game and see if EGU helped resolve the issue. But because it does actually say it failed to launch the Ubisoft Connect, if you've already got it running, which I do on my computer, that would explain why I got that message. So just give it another few seconds, uh, maybe go and grab a drink or something, depends how fast your computer is, and then see if EGU does actually manage to launch the game, as it's still running some background processes. If it didn't, then we now need to just close down the program. And the next thing that we want to do is ensure that Windows is up to date. And we can do this easily by right clicking on the start menu icon, going to settings, going to update and security, and then just clicking on the check for updates button. Another important thing to do is ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure how to update your graphics card, I will pop some links in the description below. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, you can right click on the start menu icon, go to device manager, expand display adapters, and it will then list your graphics card here. So you can see I've got a 6750 XT. Again, that's something I will add into EGU so you can easily see what graphics card you have in your system. So you don't need to keep going backwards and forwards all the time. Okay, if none of the methods so far have helped fix the issue you're having with the crew mode first, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the start menu and type in advanced. And we're then going to type system and then click onto that option that just disappeared. View advanced system settings. You now need to click on settings under performance and you then need to go to advanced and then click on change under virtual memory. So you now need to untick the option that says automatically manage page and file size. So you now need to type in a custom size. So as you can see there, I've got 4466 and 4466. So what you need to do is just type in the recommended that's below. So you can see here it says recommended and just type in 4466. If you actually go onto Google and type in best virtual memory calculation or whatever it is, you can actually work out what the best is for you. But Windows, like I said, does also give you a recommended. So just go with that. Once you type that in, click on set. 
unless you obviously work out a different number. Go ahead now and try and launch the game again and see if that resolved the issue you're facing. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is open up File Explorer, go to Documents, find the Crew Mode Fest folder, right click on it, go Rename, and just type CS on the end and press Enter. Now launch the game again and see if that resolves the issues you're having. Basically within this folder, it's just got a few of your player settings and things like that. And also it's got the profile cache and temporary files and that, which I will add to EGU. Again, the program that I was showing you at the start of the video, which will clear out the cache files for the game. So if none of the methods, again, haven't helped fix the issues you have so far, the next thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you don't have any other programs or apps or anything else on your computer running while you're trying to launch the game as they could be conflicting with it, causing it to crash. If that's not the problem, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the launcher that you purchased the game in. So the first launcher I'm going to open up is Ubisoft Connect. Once you're on Ubisoft Connect, if that's where you purchased the game from, you now need to click on More Actions under Games and find the Crew Mode Fest and then just click on Verify Files. Once you clicked on that, Ubisoft Connect will then attempt to repair any files if they become corrupted or missing. Once that's finished, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. I'm now going to quickly show you how to do this in the Epic Games Launcher as well. So again, once you are signed in, you need to select library from the left hand side, find the game. So I don't have the game on here, but I'm just going to use this one as the example. Click on the three dots and then go to manage. Once you've gone to manage, you need to find the verify files option and then just click on the verify button. And this is going to repair any corrupted or missing files using the Epic Games launcher. Once it's finished, try the crew mode first again and see if it resolved the problem. Now that does bring me to the end of this video. If you're still having issues with the game, then check out the guide link in the description below where I will list more methods that you can try to resolve problems with the game. And again, if you download Easy Game Utility, I'm always updating the program and adding new features and new ways to resolve issues with game problems. So if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. And if you did enjoy this video, then click the like button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.